Hello everyone, Treeks here. Welcome back to Gym Leader Castle in Pokemon Stadium 2. We are reaching the end. Because we are in the final gym. Oh! Uh, never mind the story I was uh, going to tell. Look at the set of Pokemon this cool trainer actually has. <laughs> All six of the starter Pokemon up to generation 2. All six of them in their basic form. Well, that at least will make my choice of Pokemon easy. Laura Magnus Eli. Because it is easy to actually pick a Pokemon that is good against grass, water and fire. <laughs> yeah. And honestly, I actually did not remember this. That um, the male cool trainer actually has um, these Pokemon. But it is pretty interesting. <laughs> But anyway, let's still go uh, finish that story. We are in the final gym, and therefore reaching the end of Gym Leader Castle. Only two more trainers to do, and all eight of the Johto Gym Leaders have been defeated. Are we all ready for glory? You better be, because otherwise why are we here? <laughs> the next opponent is Cool Trainer Vince. He's certain to be a tough opponent. Well, I doubt he's going to be tough, but he is going to be interesting because of the Pokemon he has. <laughs> Uh, he starts off with Bulbasaur, yeah. Officially I'm weak against that, but I'm pretty sure my Ice Beam can actually remedy that. I don't think you're going to get a chance to attack me. That's what I said. <laughs> it went down as soon as the battle started. Will this turn into a one-sided battle? Charmander or Cyndaquil would be nice. Oh, it's Charmander! It's Charmander. Cutest starter Pokemon Number up till Generation 2. To two. We all know in Generation 3 that is going to be overthrown. <laughs> you are faster than me, so one uh, attack. Back. Neutral damage because of being a water type alongside an ice type. That, and you're not going to survive this. That struck home. Oh no, it's just like that. Yeah, basic Pokémon, they simply don't have the defense to withstand all of this uh, violence. <laughs> okay, Toto Dial. First time we're going to see one of those in this game. <laughs> For you, I will switch to Eli. I don't have anything super effective against you. Not that I need any, but uh, it will finish the battle quicker. <laughs> what will your move be? Oh, simple slash. What now? A light hit. And those are moves that I barely feel. How will this Pokemon Thunderbolt. Affect the flow of battle? Wow, Thunderbolt! Man, that was perfectly. And there we go. There are no more remaining Pokemon. And there goes the battle! Interesting battle to start with. Not per se difficult, like I predicted, but uh, <laughs> it actually brought me back to Clement and Fairy the moment they were still young. <laughs> Seeing the Charmander, the Total Dial, like this. So, time for you to leave, Vince. And Vince is actually my Vile Plume, if you remember. <laughs> Familiar name, therefore, for me. But anyway, time for the gym leader. Time for the real deal. Hopefully, we're going to see some dragons finally. Definitely counting on Dragonite, on Claire. We shall see. No! Just Dragonair. Hmm. Well, I am going to assume you're going to use Dragonair. And Kingdra. Definitely Kingdra. So, Gary. Because you've also got ground and fire types. Joffrey for the Ampharos. And my Dragon Killer. And that is Laura, officially. I will pick you last. The challenger has finally made it to the final gym leader, Claire of Blackthorn Gym. Let's see if the challenger can snatch victory from her ferocious dragon Pokémon. Alright, here we go. We get started with Kingdra. Thunder won't work on Kingdra. Its dragon type will actually resist the damage from that. But I've got Dragon Breath. And so do you. <laughs> Here's the first move. It's oh, come on. Great start. <laughs> I'm already paralyzed. <laughs> what will the trainer do now? Ah, that attack just bounced off. Let's Pokemon just keep this going. This might turn out interesting. <laughs> Dragon Breath Battle. <laughs> the 
I've got one too. Would be nice if I paralyze you too. No, that is not happening so far. Once more. Yeah. Eventually, we're wearing down. Both of us. What now? It withstood that easily. You are lower in HP, but you are faster than me. <laughs> A hot battle is unfolding. I can take one more. And so can you. What this? The hit lands right off. This will leave you with around 10 damage. What next? Oh, and here comes the paralysis. <laughs> both Pokemon show signs of fatigue. And both Pokemon are still able to use their moves despite paralysis. <laughs> here comes Dragon Breath. Right, that's a hit. There it is. Okay, this was just funny to do. <laughs> let's be honest. Now let's get serious. We need Lepras in here. Oh, it's Lepra. The foe is weak. Now's the time to attack! Yeah, this is going to be a formality. A big between the two combatants. And this won't take long anymore. A blast of ice That's it! Oh, and down it goes! Alright, match is equal. We're eagerly awaiting the appearance of the next Pokemon! It's now just turned into a two versus oh, two. Here's your second dragon. You've only got two dragons. And you use them as your first two Pokémon. <laughs> More Ice Beam. Side. Of course, you are faster. There's the attack. That was a glancing blow. It's probably going to be the only attack you're going to be able to do. Ah, there we go. Wow, a single hit brings it down. And this is way better to use against the dragon. <laughs> only one Pokémon left to come up. Oh, it's Rhydon! Oh, Rhydon. It's down to the last Pokemon that is going to make it easy, then. Number of Simple water-type move, and it's going to be down. It's double weak against water. That struck home. That settles this battle. And that is how easy it can be. That's it! It was pretty interesting, the Kingdra, that will make things uh, a bit more difficult. Normally you simply use an Ice-type move against a dragon, but because of Kingdra also being a Water-type, it is not that easy. <laughs> You're skilled enough to hold your own against the Elite Four. Blackthorn gem battle clear! Well, Claire already gave it away, of course. We know this from Pokémon Stadium 1, the moment all the gym leaders are defeated, we face these guys. You won through the ranks to reach me. I'm impressed. We, the Elite Four, will face you from here. It is time for the Pokemon League. After beating all of the gyms, we take on the Elite Four. Just like in the story. <laughs> so, four more trainers await our eternal glory. Or is it perhaps five? Look at these arenas. I count five of those, but only four trainers. It is called Elite Four, after all. <laughs> we do them in the same order as we did in the finale of Pokémon Silver and Gold. Starting off with Elite Trainer Will. For these battles, we need to make sure our team is actually um, pretty good. <laughs> these are the toughest battles, after all. And therefore, I will bring the best. Abraham is going to be my psychic. Um... Goldberry is good enough for you. Do I expect normal types in here? Yeah, it's always a safe bet to assume that, so... I'm also going to bring my fighting type. Now I don't have to worry about the best. I only have one that is level 50 and <laughs> not above. <laughs> um, I also want a ground type. Best one I have... Um, I think it's going to be Joffrey. Also comes with a rock type attack, of course. Barry is not good enough, sir. We'll replace that with... Hmm... Hearthstone. 
Next fire type. Best one, Enzo. At least I think it's the best one. <laughs> Extra power for your fire. I also want a water type. And I think Laura is actually the strongest one I have. This time I will bring her as a water type, <laughs> most of all. <laughs> but it can also function as my ice type. That's the beauty of dual types. Never melt ice. And my final one, electric type, Eli. And leftovers. So we also have a Pokemon with auto heal. <laughs> Are we ready for the Elite Four? It is not going to be my A-team this time around to take them on, so it's going to be extra challenging. And we'll start with Will, the psychic type trainer of the Elite Four. Yeah, other than the Clefable, it is all psychic types. Looking pretty good. Enzo for the Executor and the Jinx. Eli for the Xatu. And I think Higgs for the Clefable. Since I'm not able to attack the Psychics directly. Whoa! Following the Challenger's victories over the Gym Leader, the Elite Four have barred the way from the leadoff battler in Quill, the Psychic Pokemon user. Alright, let's be gentle with your Psychic types, please. Most of them are dual types that I can work with. <laughs> Xatu. Hi, Xander. <laughs> you traitor. <laughs> Flamethrower should be good enough. There it goes. Hit that was good. Burn status immediately. That's good. What will the other side do? A light hit. Yeah, that is not going to be good enough, sir. <laughs> you will not last another turn. Sparks are flying from both competitors. And this battle is mine. Ooh, flame thrower! Great hit! Down it goes! I blew it all. Yeah, your first Pokemon was just not good enough. <laughs> Next up... Oh, it's Clefable! The only normal type. The only non-psychic type in your team. I will continue flaming. Don't really feel like switching. <laughs> I can always do if I fall. How's that? More psychic. What now? That did little damage. That is going to be your staple move by the looks of it. They're both hanging tough. Even the non-psychic still no psychic. <laughs> Power. What do? Critical hit. Thank you for the critical. <laughs> now let's make sure you don't get any. One more. Stomp you down. Oh, that's it. Yes, it's going down. This has turned into a one-sided battle. And your final one oh, it's executive. is a grass type it's psychic. Pokemon. Well, um, I still have my flame Pokemon out, so <laughs> you were not able to bring him down. And therefore, he can still breathe his fire and burn this tree down before it even gets a chance to do anything. <laughs> and there goes the battle. Poor Will. In my team, I don't have anything that is super effective against psychic types, and I still beat you without a single one of my Pokémon falling. <laughs> of all the opponents I faced, you're the best without a doubt. Yeah, this is not even my strongest team. <laughs> At least, technically not. Well, um... We still have time for one more. I usually do uh, four battles in one episode. No reason to change that. I have a feeling uh, this battle is going to last at least five minutes. <laughs> time to face Koga. Time for some poison types in the Elite Four. Once again... All Pokémon Potion types, except for one. <laughs> the Electrode obviously is not. Selecting Abraham first to take down the Poison. And besides that, I only have to worry about the Electrode. That will um, force me to bring Joffrey. And the final one is a free pick, actually. 
two Pokemon and bugs, I see. So perhaps also not a bad idea to go with fire again. And that is what I will bring. The next opponent is Koga. The challenger must avoid being mesmerized by this skillful ninja. Abraham, I did not evolve you for nothing. Even though you've already beaten another gym leader castle in the previous game. You did that as a Kadabra and not as an Alakazam. <laughs> We're facing Electrode first. Let's see if I can use Dig on you. They prepare for battle. Despite not being an despite not being a ground type, it might still hurt you. It increased its evasiveness. I might even miss you. <laughs> it dug its way underground. Especially if you're going to do it the second time. Sparks are flying for both competitors. Oh, you're going to use Toxic. Nasty Toxic! Oh, that's a bit. What's next? Ah, that attack just bounced off. Yeah, that was not good enough. I'm missing the attack strength uh, for a ground type move. Unfolding. That is obvious. Special attack is more your thing. Here comes the Let's go. Switch. I've got an actual ground type here. Joffrey will finish this. Oh, it's Golem! Also a Pokemon I evolved at the beginning of this project. <laughs> What's this? The poison ah. will steadily weaken the victim. That's going to be nasty in the long run. How will this Pokemon Earthquake. The flow of battle? Oh, double team again. Yeah, even an attack like Earthquake can then ah, miss. It raised its There's no guarantee that it will hit. Hang on, Earthquake! No, As you can see. <laughs> Normally it has very high accuracy, but uh, double team definitely These also works on that. There's plenty of fight left in both of them. It increased its evasiveness. That's probably the only thing it can do. Annoy me. <laughs> wow. Oh my! Missed again! And in the meantime, I am actually taking damage. Both batters still look fresh and ready for more. This is like four times already he's used it. Ah, it raised I believe the maximum is five, so he can do it once more. Ah. Oh, that missed too. Yeah, eventually I'm going to hit you. <laughs> At least, hopefully, before I fall. The white hot battle continues. I think this is your final one. It increased its evasiveness. Whoa! Oh my! Missed again! Yeah, with so many double teams, it's pretty much impossible to hit him. <laughs> it's a fierce battle. This is for the ones with the long breath. Okay, you can use it even more than five times. Ah! It raised its evasiveness. Don't know the exact number. <laughs> There we go. It's only a matter of time. <laughs> Even a high number of double teams can never put your evasion at 100%. Eventually, an attack will still hit you. What Pokémon will appear next? Oh, it's Venomoth. Venomoth. Poison bug. They're both hanging tough. Uh, let's throw some rocks at you. You are a bug, after all. Oh, you know Giga Drain. Well. Then I think I'm already gone. <laughs> I cannot take a grass type move with my dual weakness. <laughs> well, I don't need Joffrey for a Venomoth. I've also got Enzo for that. That's indeed why I brought you. Because you have bugs. <laughs> bugs can burn. Oh, more double team. It increased its evasion. Well, you are indeed proving to be a ninja, Koga. Ninja tricks. This time you were a oh, lot less oh, lucky. <laughs> I got a hit in immediately. There's only one Pokemon left to come up. Oh, it's Aria. And your final Pokemon is this also is a the bug. Last Pokemon. The heated action continues. 
you're not going to get a chance to double team. So unless this is not a one hit KO, <laughs> you're not going to get a chance. Oh, it is a one hit KO. So it is over. There are no more remaining Pokemon. And there goes the battle. Halfway through the Elite Four, the first two have fallen. Koga. Well played with the electrodes. But double team is eventually just delaying the end over the wall. It was a smart move to poison me beforehand. And that way you uh, did actually beat my golem. <laughs> but uh, I did have enough to actually um, still finish it off. Next time is going to be the final two. We did already see there was a fifth arena in the picture. So there might be a little bit of a surprise the moment we are done with them. <laughs> but um, I'm going to quit now. I think I'll uh, continue recording tomorrow. And then we can actually start finishing the Elite Four and therefore Gym Leader Castle. Shrieks out!